Jesus says in John, he says, if you obey my commandments, you are my disciples indeed. Last year when I was in London and I had a, uh, couldn't sleep at night because of the jet lag. So I opened the Bible, started to kind of scroll, th scroll through uh, my Bible and this verse came up to my mind and I felt the Holy Spirit put on my heart and he said, the price for intimacy is not fellowship with the Holy Spirit. It's obedience to the Holy Spirit. Obedience to the Holy Spirit is the key to the next level in the Holy Spirit. Amen. See Jesus defines friendship different than you and I define friendship. Each one of us, our friends are the people we spend the most time with. It's the people we don't command. Come on, if you command them, you're not friends no more. It's a dysfunctional friendship. And some of you needs to see it, some of you need to see it. One of you need to see a therapist. Because if you come, or both of you, because if you come to your friend and you say, the reason why you're my BFF, why? Because you do everything I tell you. How many people are like, yeah, of course, <laughs> BFF for life. No, you're looking at them, excuse me, are you, are you okay? No, you, you, will like, you will come against that. But Jesus' definition of friendship is different than yours. He says this, because you do what I say, we're friends. Friendship with the Holy Spirit is not based on talking to the Holy Spirit because how many of you have those people who talk, 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 talk and they never do? My wife went shopping to Costco and she came back and uh, she said, uh, babe, can you help me to get the water out of the trunk? And I said, yeah, 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 I got it. I forgot. Later in the evening, as I was going out about something else, there is that water. She took it from the trunk and put it at the edge of the garage. It's still standing there. The amazing part is to the time that I got, got the water back into the house, I still talk to her. We continue to fellowship and many of us, we think that the next level with the Holy Spirit determ is determined by how much more time. We add time to spending time with the Holy Spirit. My friend, Holy Spirit defines friendship different than you do. It's not the amount of fellowship, it's the amount of obedience. And that's why you can look at some people who you're like, man, but they don't talk to the Holy Spirit hours upon a day. But what if Holy Spirit told them to do something else? God will bless you, not based on your prayer, but based on your obedience. And sometimes when we don't obey, we want to pray to cover lack of our obedience. God told Saul, I want you to go wipe out Amalekites. Guess what, guess what Saul did? He brought sacrifices to compensate for lack of obedience. And some of us, we will sacrifice to cover the fact we're not obedient. We will add prayer. We will add fasting just so that we don't have to do what he's asking us to do. I remember when three years ago, the Lord started putting on my heart to write a book. And I said, no way I'm going to be writing a book. I'm not an author. English is my third and fourth language if I'm referring to tongues. <laughs> I feel I only have a high school diploma. Who's gonna read my stuff? And I remember, but I felt this strong prompting. You have to do that. You have to talk about that stuff. You need to communicate that in the form of the book. And so for a month, I didn't do it. And I felt like the presence of the Lord lifted from my prayer life. So guess what I did? What every Pentecostal person did. I added one more hour to my prayer. And instead of praying two, I started to pray three hours things got worse. So I started to fast a little bit more. I was like, man, I'm going to get a breakthrough. And after I was done with all of my craziness, I felt the Holy Spirit says, why can't you just do what I told you? He said, why are you, what is all this? I said, I'm going to get you, you God. God said, just do. But I said, God, but that is hard. And this is what I learned. Obedience is the greatest sacrifice. You really want to sacrifice? Obey. Abraham did not sacrifice his son. He just obeyed God. Jesus did not try to sacrifice his life. The Bible says he learned obedience. He just obeyed. Anytime you focus on obedience, you will always sacrifice. Don't focus on sacrifice. Focus on obedience. And whatever he leads you to do, just do it. If he leads you to give, give. If he leads you to save, save. If he leads you, if he leads you to do that, begin to follow the Holy Spirit and your next level in the Holy Spirit will be unlocked. People will come and say, how do I go into the next level of the Holy Spirit? Do I increase my prayer life? No increase your obedience and if that obedience if he leads you to pray more awesome wait on the Holy Spirit to lead you otherwise you become a copycat of everybody else you'll copy everybody's acts of obedience instead of developing intimacy and follow what the Holy Spirit is leading you to do somebody say amen